Yes, Lisa, good morning. And of course, Randy and Colin, good morning to you both too as well. Now, these buildings behind me here just four days ago were being attended to by at least 75 firefighters from around the area. And within those last four days, you've seen the community come together here in Loveland, really rally around the victims of this devastating fire that happened this past weekend. Today is no exception. As Randy just mentioned, tonight, Cappy's in Loveland going to be holding a Thursday pint night. It's going to be donating a portion of their proceeds, $2 for every pint to those who were affected by this tragedy. Now, early Sunday morning, that fire broke out. Several buildings here in historic downtown Loveland went up in flames. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the fire. Now this community rallying big time. Even June 25th, they're going to have a Loveland Strong block party that's planned. One thing that we know about this community, when we throw a party, uh, it's a heck of a party. This city, this, this community of Loveland is just amazing. Within two and a half days, three days now, we have had a crazy amount of support. And you know, the uh, beer is going to be from Fathead's Brewery here in uh, Cappies and Loveland, just half a block down from where this took place. There's also going to be food from, quite frankly, so a lot to look forward to. Randy, I know you're excited about this as well. This is going to be happening today from 5 to 10. Reporting live in downtown Loveland, Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5. Yeah.